Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome back, Alaris. Today we're going to go ahead, and we're doing part two. We're doing part two from yesterday. So all these battles took us from 23 to 25. Excuse me, that's the range we're looking for. And the big takeaway at the 2400 range, and even a little bit sooner in the 2300s, you're going to start seeing more and more flyers. That is the word for today. It is flying types. We have Talonflame coming out strong. Uh, Shadow Dragonite, Skarmory. Those are all major Altaria. All four of those make up the 2400s range. And it is insane how many you'll see. But luckily, two of our three Pokemon do really well against flying types. Uh, so there's not a lot to worry about. And I guess that's the big, not just takeaway for this cup, but it's the big lesson for every single cup out there. And that is, uh, as we get a little bit later on in the season, around the 2300 or 2300 around the 2800 range a lot of people are going to start getting stuck and stuck hard they'll get it up to like 2900 and then they'll start start falling back down and a lot of that has to do with just being able to tweak your team just a little bit and finding out what could kill and what can do a really good job against the current meta without going too spicy because spice is never a good well sometimes it's fun it's fun to play spice is fun to play but if you're actually trying to you know get up there high and really compete it's it can be a little bit of a detriment uh and so you have to weigh that against just having a good time some people just want to play have a good time but uh, you do have to find the cracks in whatever defense the current meta has and exploit them that's absolutely what you need to do in order to be successful for us i kept you know i'm not a big it, holiday cup's okay it is fun i'm glad it's only a week long but i kept having to change everything because you have to be um, not just necessarily, um, you have to be a little bit more proactive and notice some trends and whatnot and know that there are definitely micro metas in this meta and go from there. So we lost the first one. This one from then on, we went four and one. And we're going to start things off against another Talonflame. So this time around, we threw in an extra fast move. Don't try to tie Talonflame. Instead, just sneak an extra fast move in, especially if you have a Dugong lead. And that's not just for this cup, obviously, but just in general. If you have a Dugong versus a Talonflame, always sneak it in. Let them do their thing first off. So there we go. Icy Wind. And now at this point, things aren't looking too good for them. They bring in bigger off. They're down to zero shields, though. It's never a good idea to lose both of your shields right off the bat. I always like to save at least one. And a Rock Slide there. It doesn't matter if its attack is normal or broken. Vigoroth will not kill your Charger Bug with a Rock Slide. And please remember that because a lot of people forget it and it ends up coming back to haunt them. So there it is. We bring in our Obstagoon and Obstagoon is doing its thing. It has been so, so clutch in this season, uh, especially the, the latter half of the season. So there we go. Trevenants. And what do we do with trees? Well, we burn them. If we can't burn them, we kill them with dark i guess right so there we go throw the night slash say goodbye to the little tree that could throw one last night slash here to do our thing there it is good night talon flame and take home the win so big takeaway just like i said from that battle is to always get an extra fast move off if you are dugong the same thing goes for dunsparce uh you can dunsparce will always beat dugong to that rock slide so you might as well just not hit the charge move and get an extra fast move off they're switching to double totally fine absolutely fine go ahead and throw this icy wind just to break their attack and about 99 percent of double will, will have body slam and payback they really don't like to have wild charge it can learn wild charge but they don't like to have it for this cup because there are so many ghost types around that um, wild charge is just not really favored you might run into one person with it and Honestly, that's probably about it, right? So here we go. Thunderbolt to force the shield, and then down goes Charger Bug. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to bring in our one and only Dugong. There it is. They quick switch, and so are we. So bring in Obstagoon. Now, what would have happened if we would have left uh, our Dugong in and just used a drill run against this Lantern? Well, it probably would have ended up the same. It's just that we like to get off a little bit more or at least protect our Dugong because it's their drag Shadow Dragonite so weak to ice that it's better just to sacrifice our Obstagoon and go from there. So there it is. We say goodbye to Obstagoon, bring in Dugong. It's over. They could get in the charge move, but not much after that. So there we go. We take home the victory. 
and then we're going to mosey on over to the next battle. And I will be talking about um, the picks for Great League after this, so stay tuned, and we'll go over what we're planning on using. And uh, yeah, but let's jump in. Sableye, Sableye, I've seen it here and there, but mostly it's been a little bit on the rare side uh, for this cup. Here's a foul play, no problem. Go ahead and throw this Icy Wind to break their attack. Icy Wind is such a really, really, it's one of my favorite moves just because it has a 100% chance to break your opponent's attack. And it just overall does a great job. So there we go. Skarmory does not like Volt Switch, does not like electricity. So let them do their thing. There's a Sky Attack, throw up that shield, and then we're going to almost double charge it. X Scissors double charged, but uh, not discharged. We get one last fast move off, and now we're looking really good. Dragonite's coming in. To be honest, we should have used X Scissor here, but that's a little bit of a backseat driver, like a hindsight thing. That way, we could have gotten two off and forced you know, the shield, and life would have been good. It wouldn't have been as close as this battle. So go ahead and throw this Night Slash. There's one, and they realize that it's over. Uh, we would have gotten that off, our second Night Slash off, before they would have gotten their second Dragon Claw off, or it wouldn't even have, it would have done some damage, but we still would have been able to survive. So there we go, there it is, and it's on to the next battle. After waiting just a little bit, right? It takes a little bit longer. The higher up you go, as I'm sure a lot of you know, uh, the longer the wait times are. When I think the longest I've waited was when I was like 300 in the top 500. I had to wait like 15 minutes. And at that point, it's not even worth it, right? So there we go. Dunsparce. What are we going to do? Well, we messed up there. We should have used an extra fast move in order to get that, you know, to sneak it on in. But it's fine. It's whatever. No one cares. And we're going to go ahead and throw that icy wind. So now we're free to go ahead and do our thing. They're going to throw another rock slide. But now they can get off two more rock slides. It's not going to kill us, though. And here's the kicker. There's a rock slide. Now we can kill this sucker with our fast move. They will get off another rock slide. But even though we're down one shield, we do have that icy wind ready to go. So we still don't have this switch advantage. But because of this icy wind, we can break whatever's attack we need to break. And then say goodbye to Dugong. Bye, Dugong. You served us well. Bring in our Charger Bug. And they are not going to be liking this at all. So they do their thing. They throw a Brave Bird, but because their attack was broken, it's not going to do as much damage. Throw an X Scissor here. Get the ball rolling on Lantern's KO. And then bring an Obstagoon. And life is good. We throw Night Slash against Lantern to hope for the attack boost. We don't normally always get it. And especially when we really want it, we don't seem to get it. But it's fine. Thunderbolt. And what we should have done here, actually, to be honest, we shouldn't have thrown this last Night Slash because that allows Skarmory to just gain that much more energy. But uh, we were able to get another Night Slash off here. So now it forces the shield. And life is looking good. There we go. We can throw, or we can just kill with our fast, whatever. So now it's time to talk about our team. What are we going to be using for this coming Great League that starts soon? And the answer is, well, the same thing as last time. And we're going to be using a lead, of course, is going to be none other than our beloved little uh, Pelipper. We're going to lead with Pelipper, and we're going to have Metacham and Lantern in the back. So this is just a continuation of the previous Great League and the one before that. And it's a solid team. It can get you wherever you need to go. Last time we got up to 3,100 uh, at the end, not last Great League, but the end of the last season. So it just does a good job. And we might have to make some changes. I know a lot of you already have Pelipper, Metacham, and um, Lantern. Lantern, of course, needs its electric spark fast move. Metacham needs power up punch and psychic. Please do not give it ice punch. Do not give it ice punch. You're not going to need ice punch. Give it um, power up punch and psychic. And that's that. With that, I wish you the best. I hope you all have a wonderful and happy holiday season. I'll see you before then. I'll see you before Christmas. But until then, take care and have a good day.